yesterday but that just didn't happen so I'm starting off with a fresh new day and I am here to talk about my curriculum picks for homeschooling multiple children for Bible this year this is what I have chosen as curriculum to teach Bible for this year so I have a preschooler a first grader and a third grader um, I can't believe I'm saying that first grader and a third grader it is going by so fast anyway so I'm just going to share with you what I have chosen to do for Bible and just a fun fact um, I used to get really really flustered by the idea of curriculum I decided to go and actually look up the word and basically curriculum is just a course of study and I don't know why but that lit up my entire life and changed my perspective on curriculum I guess I just I don't know it just seemed so daunting to me it seemed like something that if you didn't pick the right thing you were gonna mess up your whole entire life um, so um, our first year when my oldest was starting his first grade year I did actually purchase a boxed curriculum and it was a terrible waste of money however I won't say it was a complete waste because by doing so I learned that that just wasn't the way for me so when I looked up the word curriculum and realized that it was just simply a course of study, I realized that I could do that myself. So I just needed to create a pathway of what we were going to study and if it changed, okay. But at least I had it a kind of a, kind of a guide. So anyway, I'm just gonna lay out how I, um, what I chose to help me teach Bible throughout this year if you hear the kids in the background some of the kids from the school across the street are um going out like on a nature walk or something like that so that's fine um i did actually purchase a bible curriculum a couple of years ago and i just never used it and i realized i just needed to simplify it a little bit so um last year we just simply read our bible and i laid out a list of goals things i wanted us to cover i basically copy and pasted that same exact list of goals from last year and moved them over to this year um and it's it feels like it's working out great because we're just gonna cover um the majority of the things we did last year but just kind of go in depth a little bit more and revisit them in a new way i guess and I don't see anything wrong with that. It's just like if you're reading the Bible, um, you could read a certain chapter and next, you know, six months from now you read the same chapter and get fresh revelations. So I kind of wanted to have that same approach for Bible um, this year. So I just basically copied most of what my goals were from last year the books of the bible last year we really covered the old testament so now we're moving on to the new testament and understanding how it works to find a chapter and a verse and things like that then i also wanted to cover the armor of god the days of creation again the fruits of the spirit because we probably need to revisit those every single day right um david daniel moses jonah gideon samson so that's how i did that then in addition to that little list of um, goals. I thought that what we would do this year for actual Bible time every day is to journal. You guys know that I have been heavy into Bible journaling since several months ago and the kids actually love it too. So I thought, you know, why try to have a separate time that I teach us, you know, out of a Bible curriculum when they can just simply um, sit down with me with their little art materials and we can all bible journal together so they actually have a notebook for their bible journaling and i thought that i could just print out um i don't know some type of coloring page or any cute little illustrations from pinterest or something that would help us add different elements for them to bible journal with me so that is my plan and to give a little bit extra structure to that plan um I just decided we would do one scripture, focus on one scripture a week, kind of like our memory verse basically. So I just laid out the scriptures that I wanted to highlight for them and I picked about 
there's probably about 40, 45 scriptures. There's about 40, 45 scriptures that I felt like were important for them to cover and explore. And I'm just going to pick a scripture a week. We will Bible journal about that scripture and just really meditate on it each day during the week. But how we are going to vary our studies throughout that week while we're focusing on that verse is, of course, we'll do our Bible journaling and be as creative as possible in that way. Then we may do some scripture copy work, um, and then we could revisit the stories inside of each of our Bible resources. So we have the Beginner's Bible, we have the physical Beginner's Bible and the Bible app, and then they have their action Bible so we could visit that, revisit that um, character, not a character, that Bible figure. <laughs> so we can visit that Bible figure inside of the action Bible. And then I also planned on getting a um, plans I have for you. Bible so we'll use the different Bibles to visit the different um, Bible figures and Bible stories and I just thought it was a really natural way of doing things because it's kind of what we do in our Bible study as adults we visit different passages or we visit different verses inside of different um, what's it called um, translations of the Bible so you may look at the NIV or the message Bible or the English Standard Version um, and that helps you gain um, a better understanding or receive fresh revelation in a certain area so we can do the same thing here we can use our action Bible um, I have a girls Bible for Savannah that's coming soon I'll have this um, the plans I have for you Bible and so we'll use those different Bible resources to be able to look at the different stories and receive new revelation in that area so that's how we'll vary our study throughout the week and then we will add any other little pieces from our Bible resources. The other resources that I have for that are the Adventure Bible Game. Um, there's an app called Allegories that I really really love and I really wish the creators of this app would expand upon it um, because it's really such a great app but it's very limited. I, I would assume that they had limited resources to produce it and maybe life came up and so they stopped working on it but I absolutely love that app. And the last one is a new one, it's the ABCs of God. So I'll use all of those resources to kind of add to our journaling time and our time in the Word each day and that is how we're going to do Bible. In addition to that I had, um, you guys have probably, you've seen this in a haul video that I did. I picked these up from Ollie's sparkhouse.org and I can pick whatever story relates to whatever we are talking about. So this one is the story of creation, Saul meets Jesus, Jesus ascends and most of these have like five different stories that are inside of them so I just figured we could pick one story um, a day if it applies. So these are the resources that I'm going to use and I can always add extra things to them. Oh and this was the last thing. My plans I have for you journal. This is for my big boy. A lot of times they'll do their Bible study at night before they go to bed because I got little um, uh, bedside lights that they love you know when it's bedtime to be able to turn on their light and read their Bible and who I mean what what parents gonna say no you gotta go to sleep when they're in there reading their Bible at night I mean not me <laughs> so anyway this is basically what I have chosen to use as curriculum for Bible this year um, and how I do it with them all together I'll show you more details of um, as I document our weeks moving forward in the new year but basically I lay out a general plan for us and then I allow each child to grab a hold of whatever they're gonna grab a hold of for whatever level they're on it's hard to explain that <laughs> um, it's probably a lot easier for you to see it in action so hopefully um, I'll be able to show you better how I'm doing that in future videos but you'd be surprised how much 
kids are capable of. We do the memory verses every week and my four year old, well she's three, my three year old is right up there with the big boys. She learns the memory verse just like they do. So um, if I had limited her to a simple, I don't know, um, I don't know, something smaller that I thought was more appropriate for preschool, then I wouldn't have known that she was very much so capable of, um, of learning the same scripture work that they are. So uh, sometimes I just adjust it if we are doing some copy work for the memory verse, then obviously she, she may not get through the entire scripture. Maybe I'll summarize it and have her do that as copy work. So instead of the entire scripture, she would just write out Jesus saves or the title of whatever we're working on. So I just adapt it for whatever I feel like they are capable or, you know, or have enough attention span to complete for that time period. So yeah, this one was short and sweet, you guys. Much shorter than my last video. If you haven't seen that video already, this is the second video in um, my series of how I planned out our year. The first video, I'll link it somewhere up here. I guess I should have said that in the beginning of this video, but basically I just laid out how I start um, and how I work through my thought process and lay out my outline for how I'm going to plan start to finish. And then this is the actual first curriculum video. I'm just doing them by subject because I am teaching multiple grade levels. Um, instead of separating it by grade, I separate it by subject and allow the grade levels to fall underneath each subject. And it's so much easier <laughs> for me. Uh, teaching multiple grade levels. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, what are you guys using for Bible for curriculum? Um, hope this wasn't all over the place, but I'm pretty sure it was. And <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed and you'd like to continue seeing our videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when we do post. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.